Okay, three, two, one, now recording. All right. Hello, welcome back to BS Live. Uh, today, we're gonna take a look at um, this. Just, I just wanna share you uh, an idea you can do yourself at home. So, you can go to thingiverse.com and find some models that's, uh, that you like. Like, for example, in this case, is the T Rex skeleton. Because, uh, but you can find also a lot of other different models, like maybe like a Pixar lamp and download the 3D objects. And basically, there's a lot of model here that you can download yourself and then you maybe uh, you print it out. Or in this case, we, we're not gonna print out using the 3D printer, but we just simply gonna download the model. And let's go back to the T-Rex skeleton very quickly. Um, the model itself tends to be really quite high res and it's quite big, but download all the parts basically uh, and then you assemble um, the whole things inside Blender. So this is gonna be like a fun thing to do. Um, so yeah, you can use Blender 2.79 or Blender 2.8, uh, which is currently still in alpha. Uh, I'm just gonna give you a quick, uh, quick example. Uh, so let's open up Blender 2.8. I'm pretty sure I have, I have downloaded somewhere. So delete everything. And I'm gonna make this smaller. So the idea is really just to import the STL. Oops. Uh, yeah, let, let me download, download the one that's already completed. Um, it's under download, maybe on maybe on the desktop. And let me quickly check. I think it's under blend. And I think it's the T-Rex model. T-Rex, T-Rex 10 cycles. Oh, this one's actually using cycle. This one using EV. Okay. Takes a while. It's pretty big model and um, basically, yeah, so this is the finished result. It looks quite nice. Um, they are actually made of a lot of different parts, obviously. And because this is EV render, we can Oops, just now, what did I do? Uh, we can look at it with different matcap. Let me pick the one. Okay, this one, for example, if I take apart all the, if I just separate it, separate all by loose parts, we can see that it's made up of maybe over 40 different parts. So like this, uh, the skeleton, uh, the skull is made up of three different parts including there's the neck also the rib area and this middle part and then the tail is made up of three different parts and then the legs and this arm so it took me took me out maybe around half hour to one hour for the to assemble the whole thing but that's actually the fun part so you you can actually follow the assembly instruction PDF and there's also this video you can you can watch yourself and once you're done you can turn it into um, AR as well so I think I have the one that's already completed uh, yeah maybe this guy right here and let's wait a bit Okay, this is one I actually add some kind of a dirty vertex to this skeleton there's another versions where I'm using the PBR material uh, maybe this one okay so this is the one with the wood material this one is still separating the parts but I can I can send Maybe I can do this uh, reflector and then kind of mirror. I give you a demo. Okay, so let's jump into files app. 
and I have a finished version of the dinosaur um, T-Rex, where's the T-Rex? okay, it's better to be using the list I'll just search Okay, this one is actually already I already decimated, so it's a uh, it's ten percent of the original uh, mesh, just to ensure it doesn't crash. So this is the result, and I can turn it into an AR very very quickly. There we go. It's pretty cool and fun, and this is really really nice model by Maker Boat. Uh, thanks. Uh, I think hopefully they're fine with this. Uh, with me using the model but uh yeah this is as an AR and it, it's suddenly you have like a like a real dinosaur skeleton that you can really look at in 3d uh so yeah that's a really it's gonna be fun really fun uh, experience for you i think uh, you should give it a try um let me close this So yeah, like I said, oops, okay, this is the all the parts of the dinosaurs. Take a look, uh, maybe I think control space, shift, control space, make it full screen. Oh. Oops. Oh well, control space. All right. So you can see all the parts. The skull, the jaw, the neck. And all this, uh, this part of the rib, you have to assemble yourself. Uh, this is as good as the real thing in 3D if you print it out. Uh, of course, I don't have 3D printer. I, I always want one, but uh, uh, it's actually quite fun to do it in Blender as well. Take it apart. You can really learn about dinosaur. I'm pretty sure there are other different kind of uh, dinosaur skeleton that you can find. It's really, this is a lot of fun to assemble the whole thing. Um, yeah. There we go. I think at the bottom, I, this guy, you can lift it up. Um, it is actually a good fun and also it's a good practice. If you are just like really new to 3D, uh, you don't need to make anything in 3D. You just simply, simply assemble parts, you know, just, just play around with this and get used to Blender. Uh, G for grabbing and then moving in XYZ and then R R to rotate RX and then get used to the pivot and then all that and oops I just hide it by accident H is to hide of course and you can scale it I actually scaled uh, the skeleton head twice the size um, I'll undo everything and yeah that's pretty much it it's just an idea assemble like all kind of different 3d objects inside blender and it's actually a lot of fun to do uh, it's actually very meditative i, I found um, all right and um, yeah pretty much it thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye